Hello everybody, welcome to the final lesson of this sort of prologue chapter of my ComputerCraft Lua tutorial, which I call Chapter Zero. In this lesson, I'm going to show you a few of the features available with the standard computer. Before I start, I want to let you know that if you have just enough items and you want to hide its interface, just go into your inventory and press Ctrl O. As I explained in the, in the last lesson, all computers run the Craft OS operating system. It is possible to run another operating system, but I'll save that topic for a future lesson. You operate these computers by typing commands into the terminal, and the name of these commands are the names of the programs that will run. As I showed you in the last lesson, if you enter the programs command, it runs the program called programs, which shows you a list of all programs present in the directly you are currently viewing in your computer. If you enter the adventure command, it will run the program called adventure. Adventure is a text-based adventure game that is inspired by Minecraft itself. While the game is running, you can type help to get a description of the game and how to play. Go ahead and try playing the game for a bit and see what happens. I got a little bit confused partway through, but anyway. Once you're done playing around, you can press and hold Ctrl T to terminate the program, or you can type exit to exit the program naturally. Another pre-installed game example is Worm. If you're familiar with the old-school cell phone game called Snake, this is pretty much that. Select your difficulty and try to make your worm as long as you can before crashing and see what score you get. Okay. <laughs> All programs available in these computers are written in Lua, and each program is either an example of what you can do in ComputerCraft, or a utility for making your own programs. If you run the Help program, you can get information about how to use the computer, how to use specific programs, programming, and more. If you need to know how to use a certain feature, this is where to look. Any words you type after the program name are called arguments and the program uses arguments to change how to run the program. Typing help by itself will show what you see here, but if I type help adventure, it shows the description of the adventure game. You can even get information about the functions and features you can use while programming. If you feel like this doesn't give you enough information, you can refer to the Lua documentation at lua.org or the ComputerCraft wiki for information specifically about ComputerCraft. Google is also your best friend when learning how to program. If there's a problem you can't solve on your own, someone else can probably help if they haven't already solved it themselves. When you boot up your computer, you will see a small tip about ComputerCraft and how to use it. If you run the Message of the Day program, MOTD, it will give you another random tip. The Time program will tell you what the current in-game time and day are. The Clear program will erase everything in the terminal and return the cursor to the top line of the screen. Shell is the program that runs the operating system. If you run this program, it will just run the CraftOS inside of the already running CraftOS. In other words, it's running a second instance of the operating system within the first instance. With advanced computers, you can run both instances at the same time thanks to multitasking, but I'll explain how that works in a future lesson. If you run the exit program, it will exit out of the current instance of the operating system. In this case, it closes the program and returns to the first instance of the OS. If you type exit again, there will be nothing for it to exit out to, so the computer will just shut down. To start the computer back up again, just press escape to exit the terminal, and then press right click to go back into the terminal, and the computer will start up automatically. You can also run the shutdown program to shut down the computer completely, regardless of what programs are running. Alternatively, you can press and hold Control s to do a hard shutdown. This is the equivalent of pressing the power button on the computer. There is also the Reboot program, which shuts down the computer and immediately starts it back up. You can press and hold Control and r to do a hard reboot. The last program I'm going to showcase today is the Hello program. All this program does is it prints the words Hello World to the screen. And this is exactly the first program I will teach you how to make. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video was informative, and I hope anything piqued your interests or anything in the video caught your attention. 
If you have any questions about what I've shown in this video, please ask in the comments section. The next lesson will be Lesson 1 of Chapter 1, which means we will finally start learning how to program. Since this is the end of this chapter, I will need some time to prepare the lesson plan for the next one, so there may not be a video next week. Keep an eye out on my channel discussions page as well as the description of this video for when the next lesson is coming out. You should also subscribe and enable the notification bell if you want to get immediately notified when the next video comes out. I look forward to seeing you then!